assisting the applicants. As a policy measure, there are only three categories of people who can be assisted in this space. The first one are children of tender years. Underage children need to be accompanied and assisted. Not by a broker though, but by a member of staff. Who could be a police officer, can be a customer relations officer, immigration officer. So a child can be accompanied by a parent, for example. Number two, a sick person can be accompanied by a relative. Number three, a person living with disabilities can be accompanied by a person. All other people will be assisted by our officers once they are in this space. So nobody should come and pretend here they are providing assistance to any person. Our officers will assist everyone. We have even made, uh, uh, just this morning, we just uh, consulted with my colleagues here and we made even some adjustments going forward. We are going to create a special counter for lactating mothers, mothers with infants, as well as um, expectant mothers. Because you cannot have in a queue a mother who is breastfeeding or a mother who has a one-year-old who is uh, in a queue where adults are, even for purposes of public health. So we are making so many changes. Uh, and, 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 and for me, I'm happy. So far, so good. But uh, we will not drop our guard. We will sustain this until it is OK. Until the public themselves tell us it is OK. That's when now I can spend a week without passing by here. Because we have other things also in the field to do. Uh, but for now, I am a, I'm a permanent feature here until things uh, are in order. So that I can also support my colleagues here and some of the things that are outstanding can be, can, 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 can be done. Uh, especially the new equipment, uh, new personnel and things like those. Kuna swali ya mwisho? Na swali la mwisho. Yes. Okay. Swali langu uweke wewe. Both of you can ask. Uweke bayana. Jina langu pia ni kwa sababu Uweke bayana. Swala la vile visa vya dharura. Wa Kenya wengi wanalia kwamba wanatafuta kazi au wamepata kazi labda katika Ni kweli, ni kweli. Lakini hawajui wako katika category gani kwa sababu Ila ni swali nzuri katika vile visa vya dharura kuna wale ambao ni wagonjwa ambao wanahitajika kwenda hospitali nje ya nchi ili kunusuru maisha yao. Hiyo ni kiwango hicho ni kiwango kimoja cha wale ambao ni tunachukua kama ni dharura. Cha pili kiwango kingine ni wale ambao ni wanafunzi wamepata nafasi za kwenda ugaibuni katika masomo ya ziada. Na tunachukua hiyo kuwa ni jambo la dharura kwa sababu kuna tarehe ambapo chuo ama ile shule inafunguliwa na lazima wafike wasipofika watapoteza ile nafasi jambo la tatu ni hilo umesema nafasi ya kazi kama mkenya ako na barua amepata kazi itakuwa ni hasara kwetu kama taifa kama kukosa cheti kutagarimu huyo mkenya kupoteza ile nafasi. Serikali inafanya juhudi kutafuta nafasi za kazi kwa wale ambao itawezekana kupata kazi hapa nchini lakini vile vile sera ya hii serikali ni kuwa na diaspora community ama kuwa na wakenya wengi ambao wamepata kazi katika nchi zingine kuchukua zile nafasi ili tukijumuisha na wale wamepata nafasi hapa tuwe na nafasi kwa watu wengi wa taifa letu. So I want to make it clear that among cases that we consider urgent and emergency cases, Kenyans who can show that they have a job contract 
and that job contract has a reporting date. We will put them where we have put students who are reporting to colleges abroad and where we have put patients who are going for, for, for medical treatment. Also public servants who are traveling, uh, uh, you know, or uh, and so forth and so on, and they don't have passports or they want to renew passports, that's also an emergency. And we want to leave that discretion to our immigration uh, people. I can say, uh, you know, we are all here. The immigration people, they know what constitutes an emergency. But as I said yesterday, in all those classes of emergency, paying a bribe cannot be a basis of giving somebody priority acquisition of a passport. Because that was one of the problems with the Kenyans. They were saying, we understand the machines are broken, we understand the printers are not enough, but why is it that the person who pays some money to some crook will have the passport printed? What has changed? Because if the printer is broken, it's broken. So. Paying a bribe cannot create priority for anyone to